There are probably a lot of reasons why you don't like MWZ, but I think I know the biggest one. You see, the entire game is designed in order to make itself redundant, but I think I might actually have the solution to that problem. Yeah, I probably sound crazy, but let's hop in the game so I can explain it. Alright, here we are in game. Today I'm going to be getting Spinal Husk on this shotgun here, and we're going to be getting gold on this MG38. This is actually my second time making this video today because I messed up the first time and I did the entire thing and forgot to hit record. Anyway, today we're going to talk about what I think is the biggest problem of MW3, the biggest core problem with the game that actually is probably what's going to kill it if nothing else does. And that is quite simply the stash. Which I hate to say because I actually, I love extraction type shooters, right? I thought that the idea of DMZ was super cool. I think Tarkov is super cool. I think all the things like that are super cool. But unfortunately, the implementation of it in MWZ is just, it's just wrong. It's just not right. And I think it's actually at the moment hurting the gameplay. Basically, what I mean by that is that because of the stash system, because this is based off of DMZ, the whole point of the game is getting to the point where you don't have to play the game anymore. Now, there are games like this that exist. Uh, and they're very popular and that's fine. Obviously an example is like those like Fortnite or like Roblox tycoons, you know, you play until the point where you don't have to like play anymore and it kind of just plays it for you. But the problem is this isn't an idle game. This is a $70 full price video game. The game should not be playing itself for me. I should, you know, be interacting with the core gameplay mechanics every time. That's also just a big part of zombies as a whole ever since, you know, it was made. Interacting with core gameplay mechanics is kind of important. So like, just think for think for a second about what actually is supposed to be the core gameplay loop of Modern Warfare Zombies, right? You start with nothing and you're supposed to end the match with something, right? You're supposed to end the match all, you know, geared out, kitted up, and then you can take those things into your next match. And now at first, this actually works fairly fine, right? When you start playing for the first time. Now the game gives you 10 stash slots, and at first it seems like, okay, they give you a few stash slots because it means you're supposed to make more decisions constantly, so you feel like you're interacting more with the inventory system. But I actually think that this is kind of counterintuitive to how it should be working. I think that you should have more like 15 to 20 stash slots so that you're still encouraged to make decisions, yes, but you're also encouraged to think about saving items and stuff because the way it works right now, it's kind of, you can fill up your stash in like one game fairly easily maybe two games and it's just really not a satisfying experience to play around with your stash it doesn't feel like oh this is my stash of items it feels like oh these are the things i have to take into the next game because i can't put anything else in here or for me like right now what i'm doing it feels like oh these are my things that i'm using so that i can ensure that i get my camos as fast as possible and this might not be such a big problem if the game had some sort of out of match economy like a wallet or something but it doesn't now an out of match economy for this game i would imagine would be something like salvage right you would collect salvage in the match and then you could bring it out and then you could use it okay this is going to be a crazy idea i know but you could use that salvage to craft things which gets me into my next point that the crafting system is really actually horrible and really hurting the game no i, I legitimately think that the crafting system is like hurting the game because simply it's too boring and too easy you can spawn in every two hours and have a full perkaholic on you just like that and there's nothing at all to stop you there's no barrier right when there was perkaholic before in black ops 3 black ops 4 the barrier was that it was an ultra rare mecha gobblegum it was very tough to get right you had to get really lucky that was like your prized possession and if you were like me you probably didn't even use them because you just wanted to hold on to them to say yeah i have one <laughs> Oh, there we go. We got gold on that. Okay. I don't know why I keep getting green ether tools. I have five here. See, think about the core progression in this mode real quick, right? What is it? It's to get schematics, right? The core game progression is to get schematics. Yes, there are camos, but I don't think camos really count as core game progression. That's kind of just like a bonus thing. So you work to get all these schematics, right? And you get new schematics and then you use them to help you get the next ones and stuff like that. And like, that's cool. Then once you get all the schematics, like, what do you do? Then you've got everything. You can spawn in with everything. Like, what, what's the point anymore? Also, slight side tangent, um, they've actually been using schematics to sell less content in the game. If you notice in like season one and stuff, they were like releasing schematics for things that launched with the game and calling it new content. Like the Scorcher schematic, they're doing it again in season two with like the Bloodburner schematic, that's the bike. 
or like probably the VR11, stuff like that, which is crazy because like th that takes like probably half an hour to add to the game. And they are sitting there, you know, considering it as completely new content that is worth you coming back to the game for. All right, we finished our camo challenges, so I'm going to go ahead and spin the box a little bit, see if I can get anything cool. Do you guys ever like actually use the box in this game? Uh, I usually don't. I'm kind of just been doing it to try and like get guns I need camos for. Oh my god, I've never gotten a VR-11 before. What? How does this work? Does it just, like, turn them? Oh, he has a gun. Are you, like, are you good? I... <laughs> can, can you do something? Oh, you can do something. Okay. That is sick. Okay. I gotta say, the VR-11 really is one of those guns that I just did not ever expect them to bring back. But I'm kind of glad that they did, you know? What if you shoot a dog with it? Oh, it just kills the dog. I kind of figured what it was going to do is it was just going to be like, oh, uh, that it turns them into a turn zombie. Oh, okay, you can pack a bunch of it. It gets more ammo. Um, it doesn't seem like it's really any different. Uh, maybe they have more health. I'm not really sure. I don't know, but it does have more ammo, though. Anyway, that's cool. A few days ago, I actually I had a power outage while I was playing, and because of that, I actually had to restart my character. And I noticed while I was playing that first match with absolutely nothing, I thought, hey, this match is actually pretty fun. And then also, I've seen, like, on YouTube, people are really doing this, like, zero to hero challenge a lot. They seem to like it. It seems like it's pretty fun. And so it makes me think, like, hey, maybe there's, like, a thing here. It seems like the core gameplay loop of MWZ actually actually isn't all that horrible it's just once you throw in the stash it kind of becomes horrible i just got a juggernaut from the bot what oh wait i just got a collapse maybe that's what pack punching it does okay that's actually kind of cool so yeah the game is more fun without a stash but the problem is once you take away the stash you get that power build and that power build takes a while just like classic zombies you know and then once you have that power build um it just kind of goes away because <laughs> there's a timer and you have to leave and so that leads me to my conclusion for this video which is either the stash needs to be overhauled or the timer needs to be overhauled with the way the current stash is, there is a redundant gameplay loop. You play the game so that you don't have to play the game. Which is not something that should happen, especially for a mode like Zombies, which is, you know, you're supposed to be playing for a long time. Now, if you fix this by taking away the stash, for example, then you've got no stash, right? But then the timer ruins it. So that's how I say that either we need the stash overhaul or a timer overhaul. I am absolutely parched. I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning. There was a fire alarm. I've made this whole video twice. I have had zero water. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. So I want to try and build up a train here and let's see if I can get like a horde and then just shoot this freaking thing into it. Like how much damage can like one shot of this gun do? Okay, so it looks like it caps out at maybe three. Yeah, it definitely caps out at three. Okay. That does kind of suck, but even then, three is still actually like kind of a ton, to be honest, so. Yo, I wonder how this crazy this thing is in like tier three. Hey, they're x filling with me, let's go guys. So you can see there we are 35 out of 51 for getting the spider camo, which means I am over halfway done. You know, according to the stats page here, I have spent like 140 hours playing MWZ, so if you or any loved one you know has spent 140 hours playing MWZ, please, Please get them help. <laughs>